like someone noticed. Let's go behind the tractor a minute because it's a bit windy today. Um, yeah, someone noticed that the window was missing. Congratulations, HS, for noticing that. Um, he did ask what's happened to it. I had a little accident with it. Oops. That's what you get when you don't listen to your older brother. Who said... We better put a chain round it just in case it comes off. Now... Nah, it'd be alright, I said. He wasn't convinced, but okay, we got on with it. Guess what? The item I was moving fell off. Straight onto the bonnet. Bent the bonnet. Dented the bonnet and twisted it. And as it twisted, went straight through the window. Great. So there's a lesson to us all is to listen to what other people are saying as well and not just think you know best um so yeah we uh we managed to bang a dent out of it there's still a little bit of a marking on one corner but i'm not really going to worry about that so i gave it two coats of grey primer then I went to the machinery dealer and picked up a tin of blue paint now he said is it up to 2000 or 2000 on well this thing's a 99 so there we go 99 year so we picked up the paint came back sprayed it Uh, that's not the right colour blue. <laughs> um, so yeah, wrong colour. <laughs> Typical, just that would, anything that would happen to me, that would. It looked alright in the tin, looked a bit, little bit dark, but I know that paint does dry different to what it looks in the tin, so. Didn't think much of it when we sprayed it on there, but it's definitely a different colour. Phoned up the dealer again, and he turned around and said, "What model I use?" It was five six three five. He says, "Oh, yeah, you you had the right paint." He said, it "Shouldn't be the wrong color." I said, "Well, it is. It's too dark." And I heard his colleague say, "He says oh, that's that's not the right paint for that tractor. If it's a thirty five series, he said you want forward paint." And because I said it was a Ford New Holland, which is what's on the bonnet, this thing is a pain in the ass to get bits for. It really is. Because it was made in Italy, it's a bit of a Fiat. It's an Iveco engine, Fiat front axle and gearbox with a New Holland hydraulic system made in Italy and they've used Ford paint instead of instead of the Ford New Holland paint it's basically they did a Ford paint which is up to 99 a Ford New Holland which is what this is supposed to be 99 to 2001 and then the New Holland paint which is 2001 to now I presume so yeah I've gone and sprayed it the wrong colour so we're going to pick up the new paint now and then hopefully we can get the bonnet back on as to the window we're waiting for the auto glass team to come back and fit one I suppose yeah fit one so there we are Totally my fault. 
Just remember people, when you've got something on your loader, to make sure it's secure. And when someone says you think you should put a chain around it, just to make sure it doesn't slip off, I'd advise you to do it. So you don't always know best. And there we are. Such is life. My life, anyway. So nothing seems to be going right at the moment. So there we are. Another tin of paint. Another 20 quid. Seems to be spending a lot more than what we're earning at the moment. Obviously the day job's all shut down. So. Don't know when we're going to get back properly to that. So, anyway, like I said, listen to other people's advice. Stay safe, stay well, stay in.